as we first told you last Friday, zebra mussels have been confirmed in Cass Lake. And now Cass Lake, along with nine other lakes, have been designated as zebra mussel infested by the Minnesota DNR. Catherine Silver takes a closer look at that situation. Out of Minnesota's 10,000 lakes, around 800 are infested with an aquatic invasive species. And now another lake has been added to that list. We're always concerned when an invasive species uh, enters a lake. Uh, there's so much that we don't know about the effects of those kind of animals on the fish populations. The Minnesota Department of Natural Resources positively identified zebra mussels in Cass Lake after a fishing party discovered the species while collecting shells on Cedar Island. Something was amiss, a you know, something was different. They saw this and it tipped them off and, and they thought it'd be best to bring it to um, the DNR. The DNR immediately searched the popular beach and swimming area to confirm the discovery. We found zebra mussels of a variety of sizes, which indicates a variety of ages. The discovery marks the first confirmed adult zebra mussel find in the Bemidji area, and now the DNR is doing their part to make sure these dangerous species don't spread any further. Any invasive is bad. Uh, you know, our, our lakes function best when they have the native assemblage of species that, that we're here to begin with. What we'll do is continue to monitor the actual um, zebra mussel infestation as far as its, you know, abundance or what have you, and then, you know, hopefully put together that research. The DNR says that preventing the spread of zebra mussels takes personal responsibility, and they encourage boaters to clean, drain, and dry their boats, and also encourage everyone to report any possible activity to the DNR. Reporting in Cass Lake, Catherine Silver, Lakeland News. And for more information on all of the aquatic invasive species infested lakes, you can visit the DNR's website. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.